checks attached to single-family detached homes are generally regulated under the rules of the International Residential Code, IRC. The IRC requires guardrails to be at least 36 inches in height, measured from the deck surface to the top of the rail. Note that some local jurisdictions or state require higher, such as 42 inch in California. A variety of styles are allowed as long as the interior sections of the rail do not possess any openings large enough to pass a four inch diameter sphere through. The guardrails must be strong enough to withstand a concentrated 200 pound force anywhere along the top of the rail. Okay, my deck railings are attached to the posts using uh, number 10 three and a half inch wood screws and I put uh, two on the outside and one on the inside and I always pre-drill when I'm toenailing. It uh, saves the uh, railings from splitting. The posts are attached to the deck beam using three-eighths by four inch leg bolts. And notice that I notched my posts. Now you should check with your building inspector in your region because some places do not allow you to notch your posts. Deck height is 39 and 3 quarters, almost 40 inches. The distance between my balusters is a little less than 3 inches. Now I'm going to use this the scale to check the uh, force on the deck railing. I want to fasten that to my railing. And I got a piece of rope. Now I'm going to use a, a clove hitch to attach this. scale on the end of the rope and have come along and I'll attach that to the end of the scale We're at 100. See that? And that's 150. That's almost 200. Yeah, that's 200. We'll go a little bit more. And that's, yeah, that's about 25, 210. I hope you can see that. Okay. Try to do this in one smooth motion so you know there's no funny work going on here. Now there's bowing here in the 2x4, but everything's holding good, posts are good. So according to uh, Canadian Building Code, this is within spec. So I hope you learned something from this and thank you for watching.